to quickly just define what the rate of reaction is. The rate of reaction seems to be something that some people get confused about, and it's because older chemical engineering texts would often define it in a certain way, and that basically would only apply to one particular type of reactor. So basically the rate is if you have, say, a reaction that looks like this, so A is turning into B, <coughs> the rate of reaction is the rate of disappearance of A, the, or the number of A molecules that lose their identity, per unit time, per unit volume. So the units would look something like this. So moles per a volume per time. So this is volume time. And you want to use moles so you can go straight across the, so say this was A to 2B, then it would actually be just A to 2B and not some other conversion. <coughs> And so basically there are three ways that chemicals can lose their identity. So there's decomposition, which is where a chemical breaks apart into other chemicals. An example of that would be cumene breaking into benzene and propylene. So that's something like this. So this is cumene, benzene, and propylene. So going this direction, that's decomposition. And then there's also combination. So this reaction can also go this direction. And that would be a combination, so you have benzene and propylene combining it to cumene. The other type of reaction you can have is isomerization, and that's where a chemical changes its structure into something else. So for instance, that would be something like this. So this is isomerization, and so you can see that this chemical is changing into this one. <coughs> uh, basically, the, some of the bonds are changing. And so as far as the rate of reaction, if we have this A to 2B, then the rate of reaction of A, so say you have, oh, and rate of reaction is also called rate of formation and rate of generation, like people use all of those interchangeably. And so this, so that would be the rate of reaction, but this can be written a few different ways, which I think confuses people. So first of all, if you have negative RA, this would be the rate of disappearance of A, whereas in this case, well, if you had RA, this w if it was positive, this would be the rate of formation of A. But in this case, it, A is disappearing, so this would actually be, it would be better to say this is RB, the, so it's the rate of formation of B. And <clears throat> so I think the confusion of this comes in because tr older texts are traditionally the rate equation was written like this. So you have RA equals DCA DT. So the rate of A is the change in concentration with time. But this equation is only valid if you have a constant volume batch system. 
if so it's not that this is wrong it's just that it only applies to one particular case so constant volume batch so the rate is actually a function of the reacting materials the reaction conditions so concentration temperature pressure if you have a catalyst etc so the rate can actually take a lot of different forms and I think that's one reason why it's kind of confusing so you can have say the rate is equal to K C A so then it it's a function of the concentration and then this constant is normally determined from experiments and so this would be linear but it could also be like this C A squared or it could be like this K1 CA over 1 plus K2 CA. So, so this one would have a couple of constants. So like I said, these constants are normally determined from experiments. So when you're solving these problems, these will be given uh, either, either that or you'll be given a bunch of data and then you can calculate what the constant is. <coughs> and so that is what I wanted to say about the rate. Thanks.